Steve Crawford, Factor Theory Live, and The Red Pill. Today it's about my Red Pill channel. I've already been screwed over on the Factor Theory Live one uh, pretty good. So here I want to show you is I am in uh, the studio, YouTube studio, <clears throat> checking in for monetization. Now, as you can see here, you need 1,000 hours I'm, or 1,000 subscribers. I'm at 905 now. It probably would be over 1,000. But they keep taking it down. The other day it was like at 9.15 or something. I've been taking pictures. Then a little while ago it was 9.06. Now it's 9.05. They, they cut half of my notifications. I'll have people saying they've just uh, subscribed, but it doesn't come up. And then the occasional one comes up. They've taken away comments. You need 4,000 hours to this is all to be able to monetize now you can see a check mark from i'm verified for two step i have zero community guideline strikes and yet they are uh, messing with me big time pulling off subscribers pulling off comments analytics let's go into this so, yeah, 3,500, uh, 12,000 views in the last 28 days. Those are just the ones they're showing. Now, this is probably only about half or maybe even only a quarter of what there actually is, but they've been actively pulling it down. I've been tracking it and recording it on this site and for my Factor Theory Live. I've made note to show the views and the subscribers and how they've gone down, um, how I've been removed from the search engine at the top of the screen there. I got the screen set up smaller so you can't see it, but you, you type me into the search engine, especially for the Factor 30 Live channel, and it'll say Factor 30 Live, you click on it, there's nothing there, nothing of my, my show. Uh, you type in my name, nothing pops up. Even for my channel for This is the Red Pill. Well, there's other channels apparently called the Red Pill. So mine's called the Red Pill 70. Type that in, it still won't bring anything up. You type in Steve Crawford, it will bring up one video. I don't know why it only brings up the one, but one video of where I have uh, Dan Willis and Laura Eisenhower and um, Elena Denan on it. So... <laughs> Otherwise, I'm removed from the search engine. <clears throat> Actually, I think the only reason that, that one shows up is because Elena shared it on her channel and mentioned it and put it into her community. So that's probably why it's the only reason a video even shows up. So if it disappears, it's going to be because they listened to this video, figured that out, and pull it off of her channel. So I need help, people. Um, I finally got my PayPal taken care of. Look, this is millions of dollars they could have screwed me out of. All the depression and stuff I've gone through over the years because they've been messing with my channels, keeping me from making any sort of income online whatsoever. Why? Project Looking Glass. That's my only guess. There are people out there doing the same thing I'm doing, talking about the same exact subjects, and swearing up a storm left, right, and center, and that are not being messed with, or very rarely messed with. They're still, they've still got like a half a million to a million subscribers, and they're still getting hundreds of thousands of views. Why are they messing with, with me so much? Unless Project Looking Glass showed them that I was somebody that would use YouTube and social media to take down the governments. That's the only possible thing that I can think of. Otherwise, I'm a nobody. Why mess with me? Why stop me from earning any t type of income whatsoever? I am stuck on disability right now. I'd really like to get off of it, especially with everything Justine Trudeau's pulling. I don't want to be reliant on the criminal government. Who does, right? So if anybody out there, if you watch my video, if you can donate even $1, just one dollar to the cause to help because i'm going to take try to raise a few grand multiply that a little bit get a lawyer sue these pricks for millions because think about all the money i could have made off of super chats people made thousands of dollars a day 
when they just come on for a couple hours and do super chats, uh, selling their merchandise, all kinds of things I could have been doing that would have helped me to do a better show and, and get better at producing and maybe even hire a crew to take it professional. All the things I was denied. And look what happened with Joe Rogan. He got offered $100 million, right? He does the same thing I do. He sits around smoking and drinking and discussing shit. That's what I was doing. Until these guys stopped me. And Facebook, especially. So anybody who's out there listening to this, if you like the channel, you like me, you like helping guys that are being shut down, men and women like me, that are really being screwed with for, for no obvious reason other than they must have seen it that we were going to screw them over big time using social media. Because really, think about it, right? Like I said, there are hundreds and even thousands of people out there, even on my own network. Um, Scott McKay, he's on Revolution Radio. He's just got all kinds of... Yes, he does get messed with. They shut down his channel from time to time. But for the most part, he was allowed to keep it up long enough to develop his audience and get the people subscribed first. I didn't even get that chance. The sneaky prick shut me down before I had that chance. Here's some of us now. Dan has subscribed. Um, here's some of the replies. Uh, make the world a great place again. Uh, I'm not apologetic. Uh, and these are things that have been hidden. I went through this today and found things on here that I didn't, that aren't listed. Uh, great interviews, more information, the better. Great list of speakers. These were all things that have been hidden from the main uh, main page that they were posted on. Some of them were there, but some of them aren't. Actually, it looks like the one guy up at the top, they, uh, they replaced, they, they had one, this guy here, Cosmic Knowing, they replaced the one he put up there and made it look like he posted the same thing twice. He had it posted on there, I've got a picture of it. I'm so glad I took pictures of it. They removed it. He's the one who said that uh, they unsubscribed him and YouTube pulled that off and replaced it with a duplicate. Well, they, they made it like, they, yeah, they just flat out replaced it he, and put the same thing on a different on a different video. But under this, the one from eight hours ago, a dude told me he was unsubscribed, and I've got video of it uh, and pictures of it. So thank you, YouTube, for proving my case for me. All I need is help, people. Like I said, one dollar. Donate it to me on PayPal uh, before they shut down my PayPal. If they do, hell, uh, mail it to me. You know, uh, email me at Stephen Anger at hotmail.com. Stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N, anger is in the emotion. So S-T-E-V-E-N, A-N-G-E-R, at hotmail.com. Get in touch with me through there. Figure out a way to get me a dollar. I'm suing these tricks. And if I do it, I'm going for millions. And anybody who makes a donation gets to be on the show. And I'll do a big show about how we've got to screw YouTube for screwing me. And, you know, you watch when I post this up, they will probably put, put it back up there. But it's too late. I've got video of them now. Removed where it said that they had uh, unsubscribed him. I'll keep scrolling through just to make sure. But they keep pulling subscribers. Like, all these comments are good comments. And I'm supposed to believe, on all my videos, I'm supposed to believe people are watching and unsubscribing? Bullshit. <laughs> they call bullshit. Take it off sharing the truth. Absolutely love you guys.
get cool from some good comments. Like, for you people who are cool enough to be subscribed already, thanks a lot for checking out these videos. It's been very depressing. I've been in and out of depression for 10 years now because of this. I honestly didn't realize. Well, I, I realized I was being shadow banned, but not to the extent. I didn't realize it was completely removed from search engines. Like, yeah, you know, nothing but good comments. There were a few bad ones that I'd had removed, but a lot of these weren't even up there. That says I, I got 300 subscribers two weeks ago. People like your channel and it shows. Well, then why do they keep removing my subscribers from me? Is that why? Average view duration 219, but most of my videos are short. And I guarantee you, more people are seeing this, but they're they're only it's like it's set to only let a certain amount through. Yeah, they they removed the one video or the one comment from this cosmic known knowing. So you know, it, it's nuts. I'm I'm so glad I caught that while I was recording this. Once again, thank you, YouTube, for doing that while while I did this because. I've got a picture of that comment from that guy. <laughs> All right, so that, that's going to be it for now, and I'm going to keep checking in and recording this stuff. So like I said, anybody listening, please, if you can, uh, look on one of my videos, look for the PayPal me link, and click on it, and just even just a dollar, like I said. For those who donate more, if I'm able to raise the money to take these tricks to court, and, and we get all these mandates shut, because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be forcing them in court to prove that COVID even exists. Just like Pat King did in Alberta. And and it's and I'm going to make sure it's big news. Nobody's going to, no judge is going to be able to tell me, oh, you're not allowed to talk about this. That'll be outright bullshit. Show me the law that says I can't. So anyway, you guys help me out, and I swear I'll do everything I can to help you. Because that's another thing. They know if I become rich, if I sue, when I do become rich, any money I make is going to be going, I will buy myself a house, of course, like anybody would. Small house, and then everything else goes to help animals, goes to help friends and family and charities. And they know that, and they don't want that. That's why they don't want any of the good people out there who really do want to see the, every, I want to see everybody in the world succeed. That's why I was so pissed off and put off. Uh, some of my listeners know I had a chance to have a record deal years ago. And the record company only wanted me. And they thought they were talking to me, but they were talking to the bass player who was obese at the time. And rather than tell me about it, he decided not to give me the information and screw me and changed my life. He thought, I guess, he thought I would screw them over or whatever. I'm, you're screwing me out of a life. But anyway, I would have took them with me. Even if they said you can't have them as your band, I, would, I still would have let them sing on the album. I would have co-wrote songs for them. I would have set them up so that they would have made some money off the project and been able to get themselves a deal down the road. But this guy took it upon himself to screw me and everybody else out of that. That's the kind of person I am. That's the kind of person I want to be. I want to help people as much as possible, especially get conservative and Christian voices heard, because I'm, I'm, enough is enough, right? Anyway, I'm going to keep digressing. Steve Crawford, Factor Theory Live of the Bread Pill, tune in every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, Studio B. Have a great day.